Hello, 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 and welcome back to Dungeon Clawler. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and I am so excited to be playing more of this demo. I would say this is the greatest demo of all time. It is actually, it's so good. If you haven't played this game, head over to Steam, download the demo, it's free. I mean, I'm playing on the beta testing version right now. It's amazing. It's You're gonna have such a good time. You won't regret it, I promise. Today we're gonna be playing as Scrappy. Now remember, Scrappy has the second claw is always a big magnet. But if we collect five metal items at once, he gets to have an extra strength. So we're going to be starting off normal because that's where we have to start. We need to actually unlock these other difficulty modes. So we're starting off in our simple hallway here and we're going to be going straight in. All right. If we want to get shield, which we do, we need to get it in the first turn because, of course, we're not going to be able to pick up any wooden shields with a magnet in the second turn. So this is a very good first grab. Let's just get ourselves enough shield to deal with that second guy. Now, I think if we grab this short sword, oh, that's the magnet is very different than it used to be. This little sword will do double damage if it's the only thing picked up. So we did 20 damage in that one hit there and we had enough shield to protect ourselves. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about so shielding this time. If we can get one, sh actually, no, we kind of do need a shield, don't we? We can definitely get rid of that first guy. If I grab this big shield, maybe, although it's in the corner, or maybe we can try to go for these two smaller ones here, because we're definitely going to be doing tons of damage this round, and that first guy is not going to get a chance to hit us. But I'd prefer not to take any damage from any of them. But let's grab these daggers and the short sword, and we're gonna drop them over here, turn that magnet off, and let those daggers and sword fall. All right, we need one last turn. We just need to do six damage. So we're gonna go straight in for the damage. Let's see if we can grab that short sword. Got a short sword and a dagger as... Oh, nope, we lost the dagger. That's okay. That is pretty normal. It happens all the time. But we've managed to complete that run. Now, looking at picking a reward, we got brass knuckles, which are... Oh, they're all actually metal items, which is good. So we really have our choice here. Brass knuckles will give us a dodge, which I do enjoy. Sickle has a 30% chance to deal a critical hit, which can be really good. Plus, it does 15 damage to the nearest enemy. Or battle axe is also really good because it does 15 damage, but it also removes block. And so the enemy has a lot of block. This is going to remove... All of the block. Oh, it's hard to say what to go for. I do like the dodge. The dodge might come in handy if we can't get tons of block ourselves because we can't pick up wooden shields on our second run. So I think I'm gonna go for the brass knuckles this time. We continue down the hallway and we've run into two of these lava slimes. Now we do need a lot of shield or some block, but actually the brass knuckles block isn't gonna help because he's hitting three times. So it's only gonna block one of those hits. So we'd be better off going for like a lot of shield that's going to be a bit tricky or just like a lot of damage maybe, but that's also a bit tricky. But here we've got a dagger and two small shields. And then I guess we're going to go over on this side and try to get the brass knuckles and maybe two of those daggers. Let's see, do the brass knuckles stay? Oh, we almost got a fourth dagger. Oh no, and then it, a different one fell out actually. Okay, not great then. So we dodged one of those, but we are going to be taking some damage this turn. Ow, down to 90 health. It's fine, we'll be fine. We're doing it again though. Don't love that for us. We could just try to do some damage and get rid of that first guy completely. Let's see if this grabs any good for us. We lost one of the shields out of it, but we got a small sword as well as one shield. It's only us giving us shield for five though, and we can't do all that much damage. There's not much daggers around. We're gonna get these two daggers and that is it. And that's assuming they both go in there. You never know. They did, okay. So we're only doing 10 damage. He's going to be doing a bit to us. We're down to 83 health. This is so not ideal. Okay, we don't need to do too much damage now. I think we just go straight in for it. Let's just we go short sword and two daggers, it looks like. Yes, and a small shield. I think we have got him here. Fantastic. And what do we have? We've got a sponge, the ring of strength, or the small shield. The ring of strength is quite good, being able to increase your strength. But I don't know if any of those are what we want. I think let's re-roll. Okay, a metal shield could be really good. Uh, body armor would also be okay because we gain three block at the start of every turn and they are all metal these ones I think let's go for the metal shield so that at least we can get block When it's the magnets turn. All right, we've got our perks here. Let's see how this goes all Right, nothing fell out in the first turn around. Let's see if the second turn around bodes any better Quite like watching this. Oh, there's a okay. What's that magnet one do? It came in second. We've got magnetism increase the range of magnets by 20% Based on who we are that could be amazing or deal one damage to random money each time an item is added to the machine after the first turn. Junk Jet, I know, is also a really good one, but let's go for Magnetism. It seems like that would go really, really well with our character this turn. 
All right, we've got lots of metal stuff over on the right, which is going to be really great for our next turn. Let's just grab a bit of shield here, though. Can we get three? No, we got two only. That uh, is okay. It's not great, though. All right, coming over here. Let's see if we can get all these metal items. I'm wondering if the shield... I'm hoping the shield increase... Or the magnetism increase actually counts for our big magnet. I don't see why it wouldn't, but you never know. All right, that wasn't as great as I was hoping for. I was really hoping we would actually slay one in the first turn. All right, let's see if we can get two more shields here. There we go. And we don't have any of the brass knuckles this turn. I'm gonna go over here and try to get that other shield. Will it actually go in though? It's in kind of an awkward spot. Yes, it did. Okay, so we've got the other shield that gives us 17 shield. Killed the first guy, so we only needed nine total shield, which is way more than enough. Okay, one last guy. We need to need a little bit of shield probably. I need to get three shields actually, and a dagger in that grab. So we've got definitely enough shield. Now we just need to do some damage. There we go. We've basically, yeah, we got every single metal item out of the machine. They all went in except for the small sword. It gave us an extra strength, which we didn't even need because we still had a dagger spare. Small shield, plastic knife, piggy bank. None of those things are metal. I'm going to re-roll. We've got a poison dagger here, a big shield or an energy drink. We're going to go for the poison dagger. And we're heading in to the next room. We've got our prick wood boss fight here. We do get a reward first though. Some health would be good. Some money would also be good. We only have two coins because of some of the re-rolls. Let's see what we get here. One coin, one piggy bank, and two health. We'll take it. We're now full health, and we've got to 11 coins. All right, here we go. We need to get him before he gets us with his thorns. Now, we just need to do big damage on the first turn because, of course, as soon as he gives himself those pricks, then we're going to have problems. Let's see if we get the short sword, this poison dagger, and a shield in here. That feels like a pretty good first turn. And then I guess there's three daggers over here plus the brass knuckles. Oh, and we managed to pick up a fourth dagger along the way. That's pretty good. So pretty good damage for our first turn. Plus we picked up enough metal items that we gave ourselves a bonus strength. But he's now got five spikes. So he's going to be doing damage with every hit we do. So we're going to need to make sure that we've got shield to protect ourselves. Not only from when he's actually hitting with these six, but from the pricks as well. All right, let's go in here. See, because if we can get that other shield, that would be helpful. Yes, the other shield even fell first, but we are still going to end up taking some damage here from him now. Oh, no, we didn't, of course, because we had the dodge. Okay, that actually worked out really well for us. Now, it hasn't changed. He still has that five. Let's go down here. We've got one dagger, but we did also get two shields, and the shields are going in first, which are going to protect us. And now we just need, well, we need a bit more shield, but we also need a bit more damage, so... Let's go here, try to get that metal shield and the two daggers. Metal shield will hopefully protect us if it falls first. And it did, that was lucky. And that brings us down to just two shield, but he's not attacking this turn. He's just giving himself some more spikes. So that's now 10. So we need a lot of shield before we can do any damage. All right, picked up two, that's 10 only. That's only enough for one hit, which is not ideal. I think if we go here, then we might be able to get that other shield. Oh, I've got the poison dagger as well. The other shield goes in first. That's going to protect us up to 17, which still means we, well, we finished him off and we didn't take any damage. Pick a reward. We've got hard hits. Increase critical hit chance by 5%. Start each fight with five block or vampire fangs. You regenerate one health when you deal damage. Let's go for the vampire fangs. That feels really good. I mean, the bulwark would be good, but that's only starting the fight with five block. That's not going to last past that first turn, whereas vampire fangs last forever. All right, we can go for the perco mat in a hard fight, or we can go to the blacksmith in the shredder room. I think the perco mat in a hard fight. We have to do the hard fight first, though, unfortunately, but I think we can do it. He's playing on hitting for quite a bit, but we can do hopefully some shielding. There we go. We got the large shield and a small shield. That just about gives us all the block we need. If we also go down here, then we're going to get the dodge as well as more block. Oh no, the poison knife and one of the daggers fell out. Unfortunate. All right, but we don't take any damage from him. We even had 10 extra block there, so that was really good. Let's just try to duplicate something like that. We'll get these guys. If we end up taking a tiny bit of damage, I think it's okay. There are just so many metal things over here. Let's see if we can gather up some of them. Oh no, I kind of scared some of them away. We only got three of them in that seat. And the poison dagger is not even going to go in. It's just going to sit there on the edge for us. Fantastic. All right, we did take three damage. Not ideal, but sounds about right. We are picking up the metal shield when it's not even a metal shield time. I was hoping something was long enough to knock things off, but no. All right, let's just go right in down here. We're just going for damage. 
hopefully we can also get that poison dagger to go in this time. Small sword is gonna go in, good. It was kind of hovering on the edge. But yeah, we got everything in, easy. That was not a hard fight. All right, vitamin pill, converts all strength into block. No, to have a magnet. A magnet for our magnet or another small sword? You know what, let's go magnet for our magnet, why not? Let's just go super heavy in on the magnet stuff. All right, let's play this one, see what we get. There's also another magnetism thing in here. This would probably be the same as the one we had, which multiplies the range, but I don't know if it's gonna fall out. We've got one critical healing out. Ooh, and something with a piggy bank, let's see. Critical healing, heal eight health if you kill an enemy with a critical hit, or savings account, get 2% of your coins at the end of a fight up to a maximum of 100 coins. I'm, I'm not really crazy about either of those. I guess we'll go heal eight health if we kill somebody with a critical hit. The chances of that are not great, but that's okay. All right, heading down this next hallway, we've got, what is that? That guy's new. The mono hive, this enemy intends to attack you. Well, he sure does. Let's see what we can do about that. We need 15 block. If we come in here, I think that is all the block we actually need. So we're gonna get probably a block and a dodge next turn. All these metal items are attracted to that magnet. So let's just grab the magnet plus all these metal items. Almost even had a wooden shield in there. Oh, we didn't get the dodge though, it did fall out. But that is definitely enough metal items to give us plus one strength. And we've completely finished off the first guy. Avoided taking any damage from the second guy. He uh, is planning on doing something though. He's gonna add some items into our machine. I wonder what that is gonna mean for us. I'm gonna see if I can just pick up this magnet with my regular claw, cause it would be nice to have those daggers. Yep, okay, we got it in. We go doing a bit of damage and now we just need to do a bit more. He's not planning on attacking, so this is a good chance to just do as much damage as we can. We go, we've even picked up a few extra daggers, but, but they're not falling in and the small sword and a dagger fall out. Unfortunate. Okay, what does he put into the hive? Oh, it's sticky. What is that? Honey ball, any item that touches it will stick to it. The items will unstick if submerged in liquid. Interesting, is that helpful or is that going to hurt us? I'm actually not sure. We could use a bit of shield. What if we grab the honey ball, then what happens? I mean, we grabbed the honey and one shield. This is actually really helpful. So the honey made sure that everything was stuck together. <laughs> Thank you, that's very helpful. Okay, let's grab all of this. We get the wooden shield as well because it's all attached. Oh no, magnet, you gotta fall in. Okay, good, fell in. We get an extra strength and we just do so much damage. We've finished him off without a problem. Double bladed sword. I don't like how it does five foot health to us. So not that one. The paper clip is okay because it is multiplied by our strength. We are getting strength if we pick up enough metal items. So maybe that would work or we could do another small sword. I think we'll just go for the paper clip. We're hoping that we pick up enough metal to get the strength. The paper clip is really small. So it is possible. All right, I think let's go in here. If we could get a shield and the magnet with the daggers. That would be amazing. And a little bit of poison action as well. There we go, poison on the first guy and we've done some damage. Only the five shield. I think let's go here and see if we can get the dodge. I don't know if that's going to go in. It's kind of in an awkward spot. No, it's stuck on the side. That is the worst spot for it to be stuck. Look at that. Just sitting there with my small sword stuck to it. Oh dear. Okay, well, let's see if we can knock it in. Oh, I didn't actually need block. This was a silly grab, but we're just going to knock those in. There we go. <laughs> now we've got block for the future. We have done a bit of damage. I'm going to come over here. I think we'll try to get some poison on him. Don't actually have any strength yet. So that paperclip, I don't think it's going to do anything at all. We actually need strength for that to sort itself out. Oh, he's making the shield jump in for us. That was, thank you. That was very kind of you. Very handy. All right, let's grab these two. One of the ones is his. Just gonna knock it in there. Hopefully it doesn't fly out. Oh, all good. Let's grab this magnet. That should be five items. Hopefully we can get a bonus strength. We did. We got it after the paperclip though. There we go. And we finished him off. Didn't even need it. All right, the hand of Midas converts all fluff inside to gold coins, which is always kind of fun. The lucky stick is wood. It's not great. None of these are great. I'm gonna reroll once and see what we get. Thermometer, water bottle. And it fills the machine with water, which is always interesting. I don't think that's what we want either. Let's do this again. We can get another magnet. No, I think we actually just need more metal items. Let's go over to the question mark though. Oh, and we've got her again. And this is not great. We've got to, we've got to deal with our, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? This is gonna hurt. Oh, oh no, my magnet, it's way too strong. Are we gonna die? Is that gonna be the end of me? Ow, 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 ow. That was in so insane. Okay, cool. We'll just carry on. All right, we got Inky here as well as Fluffster. Now we know Fluffster adds... 
Oh wait, Fluffster adds fluff to the machine, but Inky, didn't he like fill it with black liquid last time? That was highly concerning. Let's go in here and see if we can grab a big shield. Oh, please don't drop it. No, you dropped it. Because we are going to need some sort of block here. Can I get the dodge as well as the magnet? Come on, stick with us. There's a lot of stuff stuck here. Go in, fall in. Yes, good. <laughs> that should give us a strength as well. Can we do enough damage to just kill Ink in the first turn? It's almost sad, actually. I kind of wanted to see what happened with the Ink again. All right, he's at, planning on adding. Look at everything has just gone to this magnet. It's so incredibly strong. I'll just grab this with all these daggers and the one wooden shield. It's just got trapped in there. Can we kill him in one hit? It feels like yes. The answer is yes. Nice. Two turns and we took them both out. Yes, this is exactly what we wanted. A whetstone increases damage of metal items inside a small radius by five. That is so good for us. When we head in here. We've got to fight the Knight Commander of the Order of Defend a lot after we do a small fight first and then we're going to get a couple of rewards. All right, small fight. Yes, look, the whetstone is doing exactly what we hoped it would do. Let's just grab these items. That small sword's going to do a bit of extra damage. We'll grab the whetstone so hopefully it will throw back in at some point and then help us out. We'll go for these metal items. Most of these are buffed by the whetstone, which is also really good. I think we can probably take that first guy out this turn. Yeah, no problem. And we've got a dodge to deal with nothing, actually, because we took out the second guy as well. And he's healing himself, which is good for him. We're very happy for him. Planning on doing 13 damage, which makes me think we need at least a little bit of a shield. I don't think we can do 43 damage in one turn. Although you never know. You never know. The whetstone didn't fall back in this turn, but let's go here, grab these daggers, grab a bit more shield. Not that we need it. Ooh. A small sword and the other poison dagger really wanted to come. Our magnet is just too powerful. It's actually so good. There we go. And we've defeated him. He didn't even have a chance. Is this feeling really good? I'm going to go with a gold dagger. I like the gold dagger. We get to do extra damage for each 10 coins. We currently have a lot of coins, actually. And here we have a chance to get even more. We're full health, so I don't need to go for the health. We'll go right here in the middle. Try to get lots of coins. Yes. That was a fairly good amount of coins. Only lost one out of there. Up to 111 coins now go to this side as well and is there a good spot to grab i don't really need any health i could try to get two piggy banks let's go for that oh no oh no too greedy of course so we just get the one health potion which we didn't even need all right let's go fight this knight commander right the whetstone has done some stuff over here he's planning on giving himself some sort of buff so just doing as much damage this turn as we can will be great with the gold dagger we're doing an extra damage for each 10 coins which is an extra 11 damage so i'll take it then let's go over here we've got the whetstone oh i was hoping for oh well the daggers are so weak they just kind of come flying oh no the whetstone and the two poison daggers what are you doing that's not where you're meant to stay okay well we'll have to see if we can uh, deal with that now he's got one level of persistent oh he's got his persistent armor on oh my whetstone fell off uh block does not reset between turns for him anymore so we have to keep that in mind we only need 11 block. Let's grab this magnet and all the things that come with it. Can we? Yes, threw the poison daggers in there. That's going to be pretty good. Doing lots of damage here. We've only got seven block, so it would be good if we could grab the dodge, I suppose. Let's come right in here. We'll get the golden dagger as well as some dodge. Will they both go in? The golden dagger fell in the wrong spot. Nope, it's fine. It went in. And it does 17 damage. All right, he's now given himself 27 block. It would have been really nice if we'd had that battle axe that gets rid of all the block. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have that, so we just need to whittle him down old-fashioned style. And this is not the best way, but the poison is good. I think the poison goes in behind the block even. So we just need to make sure we keep layering that on, I guess. Let's go over here and see if we can get a bit more poison being added to him. And we've gone up to having three total strength, so we are actually doing damage. It's a very good amount of damage we're doing. All right, 22 damage he's planning on doing, so I feel like we need to get some shield happening. I don't know if we can do enough damage to get through all of his shield this turn, so we just need to make sure we don't take too much damage. Although, I feel like we're gonna take a little bit, but at least we get this shield in, hopefully. Everything's a little stuck on the side. Please roll in. It did roll in. We're gonna be doing four extra damage now with the strength modifier. His health is whittling down. He's got three health remaining. Oh, it was actually enough. Our poison was enough to finish him off. Amazing. Savings account. Get 2% of your coins at the end of a fight up to a maximum of 100. No, I don't think so. Picky, if you only pick a single item in a turn, it gets used twice. This doesn't happen so often to us. Or bargain. Reduce prices for all services by 5%. No, nope, don't feel any of those. Let's re-roll this. Minimalist. Get two strength if there are no items left in the machine. No, that's like 
I don't even know how you manage to do that. Dodge. Each time you dodge an attack, deal 10 damage. Oh, that could be really good. Or a blockmaster retain up to 10 block between turns. I think dodgy would be good because we do have the brass knuckles. Let's take that. Our options now are a hard fight or the alchemist or blacksmith. Now, the interesting thing about the alchemist is we can transmute the items to change their material. So we could make a couple of our items into metal items that are not metal. Or we could go to the blacksmith though and upgrade things. Because if you upgrade the whetstone, then it does a bigger area of radius or actually having more block. Like we're definitely gonna do these ones because that gives us two dodge. We use two dodge, that's 20 damage in that turn. That's good, we're definitely taking that. We could upgrade this magnet to be a bigger radius, but we already have the buff that's sort of doing that for us. Um, we could do this one, then it does two damage per 10 coins. And we currently have a lot of money, although we are about to spend it all. So maybe that's not where we should go. Let's get the metal shield as a golden one. Let's do, we could do the poison daggers, or we could try to change. Well, the only thing we would be able to change into being metal would I think be the, sh well, it's shields. Everything else we have is metal. Hmm. You know what? I don't know if there's anything else here that I really want to upgrade. Maybe we leave for now and we wait till we have some other items. Or we just do the whetstone maybe. Yeah, let's just do the whetstone. It does a bigger area. I don't even know if we want to transmute anything. We don't have any items though. It's like last time I think we were, had the syringe, and we wanted to transmute that into metal and that was really good. Unless it already is, I honestly don't remember. Okay, we just have to choose a direction. I don't think, oh, I mean, we could just turn a shield into, like, what if we just turn this shield into it? Not cloth, we want to change it into metal. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We could do another one as well. Wait, did I just turn one of these into cloth? Ah, oh, I'm so silly. Right, transmute it into metal, my bad. Okay, now that we have a small one as metal and a big one as metal. Right, either way, we are either going to be fighting Mothilda or Mathaniel. Let's head this way then. Oh, we get to fight the mono hive again. Okay, this is a much bigger area. The whetstone is now covering, which is great. Let's see if we can grab the magnet. That was not that great. Oh, it was terrible. That was so bad. Okay, that was horrifying. Um, hmm, we need to do some block. Let's go in here and get the dodge as well as the other shields. Oh yeah, and some of our other shields are metal. Okay, that was too much stuff for our thing to grab. But we did get enough items to give us a plus one to our strength. What we didn't get is any dodge. We barely got enough shield. In fact, we didn't get enough shield. We've taken 16 total damage. Ouch. Okay, that was not our finest hour. Okay, they're not planning on doing any damage this time, so we just need to do damage. They are adding things to the machine. That'll be the honey, which actually was really good for us last time. And a bonus to themselves. Okay, oh, we've got, we killed it before we managed to put the honey in. We've done tons of damage. We've actually managed to get rid of both of them. Plus we get to heal a bit, which is also good. Um, The recycling, but we don't have any plastic items. Hand of Midas we could get to get more coins again. I don't know if that's what we need. I, I don't mind the Hand of Midas, but I don't feel the need for it either. I'm gonna reroll this time. Could get another poison dagger. It's not the worst idea. We could reroll again. A metal shield. I'm definitely not going for the dark sword. I've rerolled again. I don't feel good about that anymore. <laughs> Let's get this spiky shield. It increases our block by three and gives us five spikes. It is wooden, so we'll have to pick it up in the first turn if we actually want to use it. Uh, but you never know, we might be able to. They aren't planning on doing any damage this turn, so we just need to do as much damage to them. We don't need to worry about shields. We got one shield, but then we also got some damage items. And I don't know where else. I guess we'll get ourselves some dodge for the future. Actually, we just basically picked up all the metal items, so that's good. Oh, no, the only thing I wanted was the dodge. Oh, come on, you. That is so classic. Oh, right, the inky thing has happened. So can't see where things are. The magnet I did see went down in here somewhere. Let's just see what we managed to get. Oh, tons of stuff. The magnet's now over there. We pushed the dodge in. Miss getting my spiky shield. Is the inky fluff doing damage? Applies 10 ink to the nearest enemy. And when they're inked, all attacks have a 1% chance to miss. Okay, the magnet I think is over here. So let's just throw this in over on this side. There we go. We've got a few things plus some inky fluff that we've managed to throw in. We are going to be doing big damage. I quite like the inky one. I think it's quite fun. Can't see what's going on, but we're just going to kind of watch where items fall in. Never mind. We don't need to. We killed them. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to that part. I was too excited to see about where items were going to fall in. Don't want any of those. So let's move on. Man, we could get the water bottle and we could start filling the machine with our own water. Though it seems a bit crazy. Let's keep going. A honey ball, that was kind of fun. Um, not really what I was looking for either. We're spending all of our money and I'm not finding any wooden items. You know what, let's go for a water bottle. Maybe we'll find that piranha thing again and then we can have the piranha and actually have the water bottle to use it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, because I keep referring to the last game we played, make sure you check out a previous video of mine 
where we looked at the beta version of Dungeon Crawler for the very first time. All right, let's go in here and try to get a bunch of shield because we are going to need a bit of it. Inky guy's going to add the ink all to the machine again. So that's going to be good fun. Let's try to get this dodge again. I feel like I keep trying to get the dodge and it keeps just not happening for me. Go in there. Yes, it's gone. I mean, the... <laughs> The whetstone's not going in there, but everything else is, so that's fine. Right, it's now Inky in here. We've done a bit of healing because we if we do damage, we get to heal because of our vampire. Oh, look, there's the water bottle. I don't need the water bottle, though, but let's see if we can get... There we go. Let's see if we can get that... Finally get that spikes added to us. Okay, yes. Now we've got the spikes times five, so when they try to do damage to us, we are going to be spiking them right back. I don't know where there's metal items, so we're just going here. Oh, goodness me, there's tons of metal items. Uh... Yep, all of those have fallen in. That is an insane, look how full that is. Holy moly. Okay, let's just see. Can we get through two of them? Yes, we can. We've got 35 shield. I mean, that's not going to last, but it's amazing. Okay, it's, that is insane. Actually insane. Let's go down in here. I saw the magnet fall, so we'll see if we can get it. Nope, we did get some fluff and a paper clip and a small sword. Do a little bit of damage there. Magnet went down in the middle somewhere, so let's just... Okay, there's too much items for our magnet even to go like into the water. Yep, got tons of things again. That gives us another strength. There's no way he's going to survive this. We've got this. Yes, there we go. Finish that round off. All right, oh, the shuriken's great. Let's get that one. That's a metal item that we don't have. And do we want to go for Mathaniel or Mathilda? Wait, is Mathilda the one that has the mirror? Because I hate that one. But I think if we don't fight her now, we're going to have to fight her later. But... I'm willing to put that off until later. All right, let's go down here. And oh no, not the spike balls thing again. Okay, what is this though? Mystery perk, but also a major chance to injure yourself. Um, I think I'm willing to sacrifice it. Okay, got those two spike balls. Okay, I think we can get it though. We just need, yes, pick it up right there. Okay, we're gonna do one more damage, but we do get a mystery perk though. I think we'll just skip that last turn because it don't, doesn't feel worth it. Yeah, skip that last turn. We got hoarder, increase the amount of items you can get dropped in the machine by 10. Yeah, that feels good. We can get tons of metal items then. Just all like stacked up in there. A little bit of healing would be good and a lot of money would be nice. Let's just go in here somewhere. That feels pretty good as a grab. And we got at least one health potion to heal up a little bit. I suppose two health potions would have been better though. All right, Nathaniel, I'm ready for you. All right, he's not planning on doing any damage, which means I am planning on doing a lot of damage. Just the tiniest bit of damage. And a tiny bit of shielding, but I don't need. We'll go over here. I feel like we don't have a ton of damage items, but... We have a lot of metal items. At least we get an extra strength for that. He does have quite a lot of health we have to dig through. All right, what's he giving himself? Oh no, he's got the mirror thing. Reflects the next attacker debuff back to the attacker. So we need a lot of shield then. Okay, let's see if we can get some shield because if we're reflecting all the damage back to ourselves, that is not ideal. Let's go here. A little paper clip and a little dagger would be a good amount. I really thought Mathilda was the one who did this. Ow. Yeah, it wasn't enough. We still took damage. No, no. What is this now? The fluff is lava fluff, I think. Burning fluff deals two damage to the nearest enemy. Okay, if we can get a bunch of shield and some burning fluff, it's going to do burning. It's going to do damage to him, which reflects back to me. So I'm taking a bit of damage here from that, but at least we're slowly wearing down this. Oh no, where are we going to go with this? I don't want to do damage to him. Just go right in the middle. Maybe we don't manage to pick up any metal items. Oh no, why is the fluff sticking? Get out of here, fluff. Okay. It's fine, just two little ones. We had a bit of shield. Ow, ow, we're down to 87 health. He only has two mirrors left though, so we've, we've almost sorted it out. Let's go here again. That's a lot of fluff. Okay, only one shield as well. Two of these fluffs will hurt us and then he's gonna be out of mirror. So now he's taking the damage, so we are ready to go full damage. Let's see how many of these actually go in there. Are they gonna go in? No, fall in you silly daggers. You're right on the edge. Oh, that is really annoying. <laughs> Look at that, just precariously sitting on the edge there. Oh, come on. All right, he's going to do it again, I think. So we need to just deal like a lot of damage. But if we could grab something to just knock all of those guys in. Come on, fall in. You're so close, you silly things. Oh my gosh, okay, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's just go in here. We just need to knock these items all in. Go in this time. Yes, thank you. This will be a huge amount of damage, plus a bit of healing for ourselves every time we hit him. Okay, wasn't quite enough damage. He's at 150. Oh, no, he's got 10 again. That is... Um, okay, let's go in here. It's still the burning fluff, so we're still going to be taking damage from it. We got the golden shield so we can heal or block a little bit. But unfortunately, we're... Oh, we dodged those. All right, we had the dodge. That was... 
actually kind of okay for us. Do you think any of these are metal on this side? Oh, look, one of them actually was, plus a dagger. Oh, nope, oh, nope, oh, nope, oh. now we got a lot of daggers. No, those daggers are gonna hurt us instead. Ow! No, oh, we've poisoned our own self. <sighs> okay, just two more we're gonna get hit with. Ideally, if we could just grab two fluff, I guess, and then two shields. The shield, please fall in faster than the fluff. Nope, you literally fell in last. Now we're doing damage to him, so at least there's now that. Let's grab this giant pile of stuff here. Will you actually go in, though? You will. This is very good. Can we finish him off this turn? I mean, I'm hoping so, but I don't think so. We don't quite have enough block either, so we are going to take a bit of extra damage. And we are also poisoned, so we're going to take our poison damage. We just need to do two damage now, though, so literally like a paperclip will finish him off. Or any of this burning fluff will also be fine. So there we go. Oh, actually, we could have done nothing, I suppose, and his poison would have finished him off, so yeah, that was all right. Decrease the health of enemies by 25% with weaklings or hard hits increase critical hit chance by 5% or magic mirror the first item each turn is used twice. I love magic mirror, but them just having 25% less health also seems quite good. Although the first item being used twice is also very good. We'll go with this one. We can go to alchemist or we could go to the blacksmith. I take a look at my bag. It'd be great to upgrade shuriken, I suppose, but we could also turn the spiky shield into something that's metal. Uh, it's tricky. Let's go turn the spiky shield into something that is metal. And nothing else, I don't think so. I don't feel like I need a water bottle to be metal. Don't really feel like I need to have water necessarily. Hard fight. But are we gonna perko mat or just an easy fight? I think hard fight for a perko mat. Go help a good perko mat. And these guys aren't too bad. They actually don't have that much health. They do plan on doing a lot of damage, but they don't have a lot of health. If we can grab that dodge, then we can completely dodge the attacks of the first two guy, or the first guy, because he's doing two attacks. So that keeps us pretty well sorted. And then, actually, I suppose if we could just finish off that first guy, then we wouldn't have to worry about that at all. It only needs 13 damage. The small daggers do five each, so if we manage to actually grab those three, then we should be okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about the spiky shield also being metal now. There you go. So we finish off the first guy. That means we actually get to block the second guy. He takes return fire with all of the damage he's trying to do. Come over here again, see if we can grab this magnet. We're gonna finish him off. Easy peasy, or okay, well, we only needed that one item, I think, this is fine. <laughs> okay, let's re-roll those. Sponge, dark sword, plastic knife. Nope, don't love that. We'll just go for another poison dagger, I guess. And then we'll go to our perko mat and let's see what we get. So wheels turning around, what's gonna fall in? I think I'd love something that gave us extra health if that's in there. I've already got that vampire one. I can see literally nothing's coming out. Come on, how many rounds do we have to have before something falls out? Here we go, this is gonna, the vampire one fell out again. Interesting. Vampire fag, so we can regenerate another one health or the golden tentacle. The reward room is filled with the water and you can use the tentacle hall to collect items. We've had that before, that was actually quite fun. But can we stack these? Stack both, this part can be stacked. It literally, that's what that means. So, yep, we'll take that. We'll be healing double now, so. I think this is great. All right, we got the mono hive again. He's planning on doing quite a few little attacks there. Let's come in here, I think, and grab shields. That is all right. We grabbed a metal shield and a wooden shield. And then maybe I'll come right here and just see what we get. A lot of metal stuff here. Drop that in. Is that five things? Did they all go in? Four things went in. Of course you had to fall out and then sit there on that ledge. <laughs> You're just refusing to give me your strength. All right, the first guy took damage from our thorns though, which is great. I do like this spiky shield. Might as well try to get some more of it. He's only doing three damage, which is not a lot, but he's also giving himself some sort of buff. Actually, I think he's trying to poison us because we do seem to have a poison on us at the moment. All right, let's just come in here. I think a lot of these are metal, including a bunch of these shields. Not that we need them, but I just want the items to go in. There we go. That's gonna be very good damage. He's also very poisoned and we finished him off. And we get to stay full health, which I like. Ooh, the gauntlet, gain a block every time you use an item or the hand mirror or the sickle, actually. It has a 30% chance to deal a critical hit and don't we get to heal if we do a critical hit? Uh, yeah, let's go for that. Head off to the next easy fight. Hopefully it is actually truly easy. Tons of guys doing little bits of damage, so we're gonna need to do something to heal or to block. Maybe, can we grab these two blocks and a little bit of dagger action? Yeah, two shields and two daggers. No, why did you fall out, you silly shield? <laughs> all right, never mind then. Let's go this way and drop all that stuff in. Fantastic. Okay, good. And that's good. Oh, look, we almost took this last guy out. Oh, he took himself out. Never mind. It's fine. <laughs> ticking bomb is great. I do enjoy the ticking bomb. All right, do we want to go for Mathilda or Mothjamin? 
Let's go for Moth Jimin. Wait, is that who we went for last time? We should have gone for Mathilda. Also, I'm surprised we're seeing the same bosses, especially since we've already finished that one off. I don't know. We're full health, so we'll go just go purely for the coins back here. We'll grab the two big piggy banks. Top up our money a bit. There we go. Up to 67 coins. And then I guess we're fighting you again. Although you have different colors. No, we fought Mathaniel last time. This is Moth Jimin. Hey, it is a different guy. Never mind. We fight the other moth. All right, taking damage there. Please don't give yourself that thing from last time. The reflecting thing. I hate it very much. Okay, lots of items stuck on the side there, but we got, at least got five metal items, so we are getting an extra strength. What's he going to give himself, though? What is that? War cry. Double strength at the end of every turn. Okay, so we just need to kill him real quick, then, is basically what that means. Okay, we got the magnet and a few extra items. That counts as five items, which means we get an extra strength. We got exactly enough block that we needed as well with that one turn. I think let's go here. We'll grab the bomb as well as just like all this other stuff. If it actually goes in, everything but the paperclip, that's not too bad. We got three strength as well. And we've got two block, which also means he takes damage. All right, we're going to go in here, try to get that magnet again. Yep, with a few extra items. Knock that paperclip in as well. Give ourselves the extra strength, up to four strength, although he's up to eight, so we need to make sure he's not doing too many hits. Uh, but we do have the one dodge, so we are actually fine. We are gonna dodge that one hit he plans on doing. And we're just gonna hopefully do tons of damage if those items go in, which they didn't. I mean, five of them went in, so we did get the extra strength. There we go. He's gonna take some damage, and then his poison. Oh no, the poison was there. He's got one health left. We are sorted. Moth Jimin, you were no worry whatsoever. And I'm still full health. All right, Lucky would be getting an extra perk choice. Hard hits and chances are critical hit or heal five after each fight. I think let's go for hard hits, increase our critical hit chance. It kind of works with another perk that we already have. Uh, mystery room and a hard fight or the alchemist and a shredder. I don't know if we have anything that I want to alchemize. So I guess let's go to the mystery room. You never know what you're going to get then. Ah, treasure. Lots of treasure. So ideally we would get the rare mystery chests. We only have one chance at this and I'd rather get something than nothing. Let's see. Can we get it? Yes. A rare mystery chest. Fantastic. That was very lucky. What did we get in there? A holy shield reduces incoming damage to one for one turn, but removes all of your block. I don't think I want that. We're going to skip that one. I have a lot of block ability like grabbing ability in this machine i don't want to lose out on that uh in fact let's just grab some block on this first turn can we get Ooh. oh nope just the two shields that's all right and then i think we want to come back here ideally grab the dodge so we have at least two dodge and then we'll have enough block for this turn if the dodge goes in no 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 oh it did oh phew. and we get an extra strength which is also good plus we completely finish off the first guy and do so much damage to the second guy that he's going to finish himself off for us which is very handy hmm where do we want to go we just need to do very good damage so let's just see what we can grab wow two poison daggers okay i mean it's not the worst so i'll take it and then i think we'll just go right in here somewhere getting that sickle the bomb some other stuff if we can the sickle yes it does fall in and we've completed it we didn't even need the sickle uh, i think i'll go for this ah uh, let's re-roll once oh there's the toy piranha now we haven't actually managed to let's just try to get it running we have the water bottle so potentially it could work ah look there we've got the toy piranhas now are those going to do damage to us if we click them i don't know they nope we got it we got it and a piranha are we going to take damage with the piranha? No, he doesn't actually come out. That's fine. We just got a free treasure chest. Attacks the nearest enemy for 10 damage, opens up when submerged at the end of your turn, and that's two random items in the claw machine. I'll take it. We'll see if we can start submerging things with water and then using our little piranha. So there's the piranha over there. Now the piranha attacks the nearest enemy. He swims around and eats the fluff out of the machine. So far, we're going to have a hard time getting the water grabbed, though. Possibly. Let's clear out this side a little bit. That'll help. Okay, everything needs to drop in there, though. We got the two block. That's going to definitely help. We've got 10 shield as well. So that first guy has been taken out. And anyway, we only took one damage that turn. That was really good. Ah, we're going to have a hard time getting to that water. So I feel like the piranha, once again, is never going to be used. <laughs> We've tried so hard. All right, this is not the best grab I've ever seen. Let's go... I think over on this side, there's just a lot of metal stuff over here. And we're picking up more metal stuff along the way, but... Oh, it's all getting stuck because of the magnet. Are you kidding? <laughs> I mean, our next drop is going to be huge. So there is at least that happening for us. Oh, no. What are you doing? Okay, that was... Okay. I mean, that could have been better, but that could have been worse. Look at all those items we've just knocked in there. Incredible. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> 
Right, we killed them both. We did it. It was fine. We. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about that. Let's get another brass knuckle. Uh, we've got a choice. We can go top, we can go bottom. Either way, we're going to a hard fight. Ooh, two hard fights. Two hard fights and a fight in the middle. And then we're getting on to Melamon, the boss fight. Can we make it? I feel like we have a fairly good deck here. We've got some useless items in here as well, like the water and the piranha don't seem like necessary. They just seemed like fun and I wanted them. All right, I'm gonna go for the brass knuckles. That would give us three block if we managed it. We are not managing it, but holy moly. Okay, all that stuff is not getting stuck on the side. That was a terrible round. We got two block at least, so at least we're not gonna take damage from this first guy. He's gonna end up dying to his poison, uh, but we are getting a bit attacked by everyone else. We didn't die to his poison. Oh, I thought we, he would have. Okay, fine. Uh, let's just see what we can grab here. If we can grab the magnet, that is pretty good. Good, that was a nice drop. Should give us an extra strength, and it did. Okay, good amount of damage. Let's go in here now. Just see. A few things are coming. Will they actually go in the machine? Yes. Okay, got at least five items with another strength. Plus, we got a dodge. Now, he's activating his bomb, so we need to kill him pretty quickly. I don't see that being a problem, though. So, let's just keep going. Oh, the magnet slipped out of my grasp. All right, the sickle might do a critical hit, though. It did, 26 damage. We'll go here, grab that magnet, and just have, like, the most magnet power you ever did see. Holy moly, it's picked up so many items. <laughs> Actually, just, like, filling the machine. Oh, we didn't even need, like, 70% of them. We don't have any rings of strength, actually. A metal ring of strength would be amazing if we had another alchemy room. I don't think we're gonna find another alchemy room, if I'm honest, though. Um, spiky stress ball? I don't think so. Dark sword? Absolutely not. We could have another water bottle, though, in case you wanted a bit more water. Don't think I do, but I will take another gold dagger, I guess. More metal items just feels... just feels right, you know? <laughs> can we pick up this magnet? Thank you. You're coming with me. That's gonna be tons of damage. Hopefully we can just kill the first slime without having, having to think about his 12. Yeah, there we go. And the second slime is not looking too good either. I feel like we've got him on the ropes here. Uh, maybe. We could have had a better grab, maybe. But we have to dodge at least. So we'll be dodging at least. Oh, never mind. We totally did take him out. <laughs> it's fine. All right. Uh, four poison on the last guy. He's going to do 24 damage. It's actually like a lot of damage. So I guess we just go for damage ourselves. Um, that was not a good grab. The sickle's okay, though, because it can do a lot of damage. Yeah, he's down to 17 health. I think if we just get this all, and if we can actually get all of this to fall in the machine, we'll have him. And it is falling into the machine, so there we go. It was sort of teetering on the edge for a second, but it's done it. Not a problem. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'll take another sickle. I don't mind. Oh, actually, the heat gun's not bad either. No, we'll take the sickle. I feel like it's a good one. More metal items. I just, I'm not mad about it. Let me tell you. All right, we just need to do damage. Can we pick up something? We got a little bit of shield and a sickle. The sickle's also boosted, which is nice. So it does 20 damage. Ah, uh, there's just... Wait, I mean, I think we'll go over here. Sometimes the magnets attract each other and then you end up picking up the second magnet anyway. So let's just see... Uh, no, but it's kind of standing up right now. Look at it go. <laughs> Topples over. All right, there we go. And ton of damage done there. Not enough to take him out, though. He's got 28 shield he's just added to himself, which is a little insane. Let's just grab some items over here. And then the magnet can go for that giant pile of metal in the middle. Just, like, a ton of metal items. Are they even gonna fit in? There's, like, there's actually just, like, too many. I mean, most of them went in, and they are all sort of upgraded, so there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Um, re-roll this. Uh, oh, the battle axe removes the block. That's nice. Although we are going to the final boss now. We've got a few choices here. We've got a reward. We've also got a mystery room. Let's go to the mystery room. Okay, it's her again. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to get down to the rare mystery chest. Let's just see if we can grab a chest. Oh no, I was too greedy. <gasps> too greedy and I didn't get anything. All right, go over here. I don't even need these things. I guess we'll take some money because any, any amount of money makes our uh, gold da golden daggers do more damage. There we go. 133 coins. We can also get rid of some items. Um, we could get rid of the piranha and the water bottle, actually. The piranha, the treasure chest, and the water bottle. Do we want to slim down our deck? I mean, those things, or we just keep them. Or we just keep them. It would be cool if we actually did manage to pick up the water bottle and actually used it. I don't think we will, but it would be neat if we did. Uh, he's planning on adding items, of course. We did know about that. I think we just need to do damage to him, really. I mean, getting some block would have been good as well. All right, I think I'm going to go down this side. Try to get those brass knuckles. Don't think they're going to go in, though. They did not. Oh, come on, sickle. Why are you like this dagger? We didn't even get a bonus. Um, oh, no. Can we get this? What are these made out of? They are metal. So we might be able to get them later. 
but we've got one. That's gonna no be good. Didn't knock those in though. I actually had hoped that it would. They are metal bombs. So there's too many items though. So that is gonna explode and hurt us. Uh, we only ended up getting one of those items. There's actually too many metal items. This is like a new problem I wasn't expecting to have. Holy damage, Batman. Okay, we need to get some brass knuckles. If we, I'm not blocking, then we're just dying. There's too many metal items. It's backfiring. Go in, you need to all fall in. Yes, okay, they all fell in. Good, we can do a ton of damage here, which heals us a little bit every single time we hit. We do heal a little bit. We need to get that health back up. Okay, we've got some thorns as well. We've got two dodges. So yeah, he's doing four lots of 18. Oh my God. Plus these in here. This is so bad. I don't know what to do. <laughs> this is panic. <sighs> I mean, this wouldn't be the, f oh man. Would not be the first time that we've lost at this point. Yep, those bombs are not coming. Is that going to be enough damage? I don't think so. I just don't think that's going to get him down far enough. No, so scary. Oh, good gosh. Okay, here it comes. He misses those first two, but he doesn't miss those last two. Oh, we survived it. We survived it. I wasn't expecting to survive that. Okay, let's take... We just need to do a bit of damage here. Okay, a sickle is good, but just a sickle is kind of pants. The problem is, is with these magnet, there's just too many items getting picked up sometimes that nothing goes in and then that's very bad. But the magnet went in and it pulled things in. We've got this, we've done it. Absolutely fantastic. Take that, sir, take that. We've done it. We've beaten the evil dungeon lord and reclaimed our lost lucky paw. So now we can return home and rest or continue exploring the depths of this dungeon. There's an endless mode in this game now. That's really fun. We'll have to check that out at some point. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.